Good evening, uh, just a quick update. Uh, Easter Monday here today, the 18th of April. Uh, I'm completely finished planting out now. Well, not everything, but I am finished with the leeks and the onions, the exhibition stock. Blanche leeks are in, I've got the onions in. Um, they all need just to take a hold now and start growing. Some of the onions that I put in were from small pots and the, you could see they were completely starved. They were uh, starting to turn yellowish. Never mind, they, they'll get that chance and they'll come, hopefully. Uh, I'll show you from the stock end through the all the trenches where I'm planted. Uh, next weekend should see me start to put tomatoes and things in. Um, mainly down the bottom here. The top greenhouse isn't quite empty, but people are collecting leaks now, so it'll not be too long. I'll turn the camera around we'll take a look. Thank you. Right, down the stock end. Um, these are all onions. They're all looking nice. They're all being stripped right down. And uh, these are for stock for this year's seed. Leaks over behind them. Again, onions all the way through. And then we're on to the king pods off the leaks, last year's leaks. All the way through, and then we move on to some bigger stuff over the back. But they are all stock plants. We've already seen the blanched leeks, but I'll just let you see. They've actually taken hold. They're starting to stand up for themselves quite nicely now. And uh, they're looking okay. They've been sprayed once. Uh, I sprayed with Dynamec. And they are due a second spray. Uh, to be truthful, I was going to spray with Signum, just to control any rust spores or anything. But I think I'll uh, give a spray with Conserve to make sure I'm on top of the thrips to start with. These are the intermediates at this end. This is Mick Cook's intermediate. They've got hold. Um, I mean, by rights, these could be up over the top, but they're still a little bit on the, the small side. But as you can see, that's the that's the way we do it. Moving along on the pedal blanche leaks. And I can see this is new growth. So they've actually, in the sake of a week, you can see where they've scraped on the collar and moved up, they've grown um, on the outer flags they've grown at least a half an inch to an inch and the new centre growths are starting to pop out there very nicely so that's the Blanche Leaks onions on this side started off with the well this is seed from my own onions um, they have a nice, nice long neck it's normally a good shaped onion these have had uh, two weeks solid on lights 24 hours in the very early stages and these were sown on the 17th of October. Um, I got some pips at the same time. And these are the pips that we see. And again, they look okay. Um, looking at Nick Brakes and uh, Mark Rainers, they've got some fabulous onions. But I think, obviously, they've had a lot more light than me. These were crammed in on the benches and uh, more or less left of their own devices. But we'll have to just wait and see wh where they end up. Then I had some seed sown a lot later. This was sown around about the Christmas time. It's doing okay. Uh, again, we'll see what it's like in a, a month or two. Just moving down, still on with the same seed. Again, I'm using these uh, bars to drape the foliage up over the top. I have been to try and buy some pipe work to make some rings, uh, some like onion rings today. Uh, the wholesaler was out out of stock so I'm waiting on that coming in and then I put seven or eight plants in right at this end these were just in small pots they made fair size onions but again they've been starved uh, in the pot I don't feed in the greenhouse uh, you know I, I haven't got the time to do that so they were a little bit starved but if you look around the base you can see there's that's this mould, it's like a fungi and it's from the Terra Plus. These are in barrels and I have put um, a scoop in each barrel and on that scoop, well mixed together, I put um, overall, I'm trying to think the overall dosage that I put in, but anyhow it, it was the equivalent of about three ounces of Terra Plus and two ounces of fish blood, not fish blood and bone, uh, hoof and, not hoof and horn either. I'm great, <laughs> my memory's going. 
Um, John and his base fertilizer. I put two ounces of John and his base and four ounces of um, Terra Plus. Mix those together and they've been applied at a, about a, just over half a scoop, so about three ounces per barrel. And that's what's in there at the moment. You can see the Terra Plus activating itself and turning into the fungi, which it does. The tips were burnt, uh, not because of lights, because they haven't had any lights, just simply because they were starved. They weren't in big enough pots. But now they're in there, they'll get the chance and we'll just see how they perform. Not too bad. I'm pleased with the pot leaks. Moving into another tunnel. Uh, I did have fleece up over the top of these, but the weather has been pretty good the last few days. And I've removed the fleece. I've still kept the uh, training wire along the top, just the, the string line. And if need be, if it turned frosty again, I would bring the fleece back over. So these are the Betty. They've settled in nicely. Quite decent. They haven't been watered since they were planted, which is, they've been in uh, almost a fortnight. These are the blue. And then moving on to DN2. You can see they've got a hold. The, you know, you can see this is firmed up now. The centre of growth just starting a twist. Quite happy with those. Smaller ones at this end, moving along. Onto some larger plants. The top foliage is very clean. Uh, the bottom foliage, as I mentioned, it was uh, marked a little bit with thrip damage. But as I say, hopefully we're on top of that now. Swinging around onto this trench. This is my new ceiling off the um, GSN. Resembles a Cumbrian. It's a new ceiling. It's nice and clean. And uh, I'm very pleased with them. They're just a nice length. They're just a nice size. So we'll see how they perform. The twisting in the centre. You can see the foliage twisting there. That's great. I'm more than happy with that. That's, uh, you can see here how it's twisted around. And that's just what we want to see. It's got plenty of vigour in the plant. You can see plenty of weeds growing. I'll need to get in and just disturb the top here to make sure that the weeds don't take over. That'll be chickweed from last year. So they're looking quite nice. Moving down the row. We move on to the GSN near start here. Darker foliage. A uh, little bit on the brittle side. Uh, I did show you the um, foliage having cracks in it, but again they're quite nice we'll see just what happens with them later on moving two trenches up we're on to dn1 that's dennis nut all one small plants at this end shade on the long side but i'm actually thinking of taking a knife to them and nicking those back we'll just see what happens i'll probably do it with a few moving on to some larger plants again they are a bit long um, I don't know if it'll crack itself back, it is a brand new leak and the parent didn't crack any flags as it was growing. The seedling was 18 and a half inches round so you know it was nice quality. Hopefully that will make the grade but it may need to be nicked back. And the last trench which are virus free. The first six virus free Cumbrian you can see beautiful and clean. The sun's catching to them. It looks as if it's a different colour, but it's not. It's all one colour right through. Uh, the first six are from the laboratory. So they are from um, Merry Stem Cuttings. And they look very nice. One, two, three, four, five. That's the fifth one, and that's the sixth one. So they are from Merry Stem Cutting this year. And then we drop onto my own grass. I hope you can see the sun's in my eyes. Uh, it's, it's in the evening, but we haven't had a lot of sunshine all day, but we're getting it now. And these are looking very nice as well. Uh, they've got a hold now. The centers are starting to twist there nicely. They look very nice. And then on the smaller plants. Off later heads. And again, they're growing quite nicely. I'm more than happy. I've had collars on these with a little bit of length on them. That's it folks, uh, plenty of work still to be done. I've got a lot of tidying up to do. Uh, I will be starting with other things. I've got cucumbers, um, 
tomatoes, peppers. I've just set some um, some basil, uh, a few of the little herbs. So there's there's quite a bit to be done. Um, we'll just do follow-on videos from now on. If you've any questions, fire them through, and I'll do my best to answer. Thanks a lot now. Good night. I hope you've all had a good Easter. Cheers now.